a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Slovakia Slovakia, officially the Slovak Republic, is a landlocked country in Central Europe. It is bordered by the Czech Republic and Austria to the west, Poland to the north, Ukraine to the east and Hungary to the south. Slovakia's territory spans about 49,000 square kilometers and is mostly mountainous. The population is over 5 million and comprises mostly ethnic Slovaks. The capital and largest city is Bratislava. The official language is Slovak. The Slavs arrived in the territory of present-day Slovakia in the 5th and 6th centuries. In the 7th century, they played a significant role in the creation of Samos Empire and in the 9th century established the Principality of Nitra. In the 10th century, the territory was integrated into the Kingdom of Hungary. After World War I and the dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the Slovaks and Czechs established Czechoslovakia. A separate Slovak Republic existed in World War II as a client state of Nazi Germany. In 1945, Czechoslovakia was re-established and under communist rule became a Soviet satellite. In 1989, the Velvet Revolution ended communist rule in Czechoslovakia. Slovakia became an independent state on 1 January 1993 after the peaceful dissolution of Czechoslovakia, sometimes known as the Velvet Divorce. Slovakia is a high-income advanced economy with a very high human development index, a very high standard of living, and performs favorably in measurements of civil liberties, press freedom, internet freedom, democratic governance and peacefulness. The country maintains a combination of market economy with a comprehensive social security system. Citizens of Slovakia are provided with universal health care, free education and one of the longest paid maternity leave in the OECD. The country joined the European Union in 2004 and the Eurozone on 1 January 2009. Slovakia is also a member of the Schengen Area, NATO, the United Nations, the OECD, the WTO, CERN, the US, the Council of Europe and the Visegrad Group. The Slovak economy is one of the fastest growing economies in Europe and third fastest in Eurozone. Its legal tender, the Euro, is the world's second most traded currency. Although regional income inequality is high, 90% of citizens own their homes. In 2016, Slovak citizens had visa free or visa on arrival access to 165 countries and territories, ranking the Slovak passport 11th in the world. Slovakia is the world's largest per capita car producer with a total of 1,040,000 cars manufactured in the country in 2016 alone, and the seventh largest car producer in the European Union. The car industry represents 43% of Slovakia's industrial output, and a quarter of its exports. Etymology The first written mention of name Slovakia is in 1586. It derives from the Czech word Slovaki. Previous German forms were Windischenlanden and Windenland. The native name Slovensko derives from an older name of Slovak Sloven what may indicate its origin before the 15th century. The original meaning was geographic, since Slovakia was a part of the multi-ethnic Kingdom of Hungary, and did not form a separate administrative unit in this period. History Radiocarbon dating puts the oldest surviving archaeological artifacts from Slovakia found near Nové Mesto nad Var om at 270,000 BC. In the early Paleolithic era, these ancient tools, made by the Clactonian technique, bear witness to the ancient habitation of Slovakia. Other stone tools from the Middle Paleolithic era come from the Provo Cave near Bojnes and from other nearby sites. The most important discovery from that era is a Neanderthal cranium, discovered near Ganovs, a village in northern Slovakia. Archaeologists have found prehistoric human skeletons in the region, as well as numerous objects and vestiges of the Gravitian culture, principally in the river valleys of Nitra, Ron, Ipil, Var, and as far as the city of Žilina and near the foot of the Vihulat, Inavec, and Tribek mountains, as well as in the Majava mountains. The most well-known finds include the oldest female statue made of mammoth bone, the famous Venus of Moraveni. The statue was found in the 1940s in Moraveni Nadvar om Neopiestani. Numerous necklaces made of shells from Cyprachothermophile gastropods of the tertiary period have come from the sites of Zakovska, Bodkovis, Hubena, 
and radocina. These findings provide the most ancient evidence of commercial exchanges carried out between the Mediterranean and Central Europe. Bronze Age The Bronze Age in the geographical territory of modern-day Slovakia went through three stages of development, stretching from 2000 to 800 BC. Major cultural, economic, and political development can be attributed to the significant growth in production of copper, especially in Central Slovakia and Northwest Slovakia. Copper became a stable source of prosperity for the local population. After the disappearance of the Kakani and Vilatis cultures, the Lusatian people expanded building of strong and complex fortifications, with the large permanent buildings and administrative centers. Excavations of Lusatian hill forts document the substantial development of trade and agriculture at that period. The richness and the diversity of tombs increased considerably. The inhabitants of the area manufactured arms, shields, jewelry, dishes, and statues. Hallstatt period The arrival of tribes from Thrace disrupted the people of the Kalendaborg culture, who lived in the hamlets located on the plain, and in the hill forts like Molpa, near Smolinice, in the Little Carpathians. During Hallstatt times, monumental burial mounds were erected in western Slovakia, with princely equipment consisting of richly decorated vessels, ornaments, and decorations. The burial rites consisted entirely of cremation. The common people were buried in flat turnfield cemeteries. A special role was given to weaving and the production of textiles. The local power of the princes of the Hallstatt period disappeared in Slovakia during the last century before the middle of 1st millennium BCE after strife between the Scythothracian people and locals, resulting in abandonment to the old hill forts. Relatively depopulated areas soon caught interest of emerging Celtic tribes, who advanced from the south towards the north, following the Slovak rivers, peacefully integrating into the remnants of the local population. La Tene period From around 500 BC, the territory of modern-day Slovakia was settled by Celts, who built powerful Apada on the sites of modern-day Bratislava and Devon. Biateks, silver coins with inscriptions in the Latin alphabet, represent the first known use of writing in Slovakia. At the northern regions, remnants of the local population of Lusatian origin, together with Celtic and later Dacian influence, gave rise to the unique Puchov culture, with advanced crafts and ironworking, many hill forts and fortified settlements of central type with coinage of the Velkobistareki type. This culture is often connected with the Celtic tribe mentioned in Roman sources as Katini. Roman period From 2 AD, the expanding Roman Empire established and maintained a series of outposts around and just north of the Danube, the largest of which were known as Carnuntum and Brigidio. Such Roman border settlements were built on the present area of Rusovs, currently a suburb of Bratislava. The military fort was surrounded by a civilian vicus and several farms of the Villa Rustica type. The name of this settlement was Gerilata. The military fort had an auxiliary cavalry unit, approximately 300 horses strong, modeled after the Canaan fates. The remains of Roman buildings have also survived in Devon Castle, the suburbs of Dubrovka and Stupava, and Bratislava Castle Hill. Near the northernmost line of the Roman hinterlands, the Limes Romanus. There existed the winter camp of Logarishu, where the auxiliary of Legion II fought and prevailed in a decisive battle over the Germanic Gwadi tribe in 179 AD during the Marcomannic Wars. The Kingdom of Vanios, a kingdom founded by the Germanic Suabian tribes of Gwadi and Marcomanni, as well as several small Germanic and Celtic tribes, including the Osi and Katini, existed in western and central Slovakia from 86 BC to 179 AD. Great invasions from the 4th to 7th centuries In the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD, the Huns began to leave the Central Asian steppes. They crossed the Danube in 377 AD and occupied Pannonia, which they used for 75 years as their base for launching looting raids into Western Europe. However, a tireless death in 453 brought about the disappearance of the Hunt tribe. In 568, a Turco-Mongol tribal confederacy, the Avars, conducted its own invasion into the Middle Danube region. The Avars occupied the lowlands of the Pannonian Plain and established an empire dominating the Carpathian Basin. In 623, 
the Slavic population living in the western parts of Pannonia seceded from their empire after a revolution led by Samo, a Frankish merchant. After 626, the Ava power started a gradual decline, but its reign lasted to 804. Slavic States The Slavic tribes settled in the territory of present-day Slovakia in the 5th century. Western Slovakia was the center of Samos Empire in the 7th century. A Slavic state known as the Principality of Nitro arose in the 8th century, and its ruler Pribina had the first known Christian church of the territory of present-day Slovakia consecrated by 828. Together with neighboring Moravia, the Principality formed the core of the Great Moravian Empire from 833. The high point of this Slavonic Empire came with the arrival of Saints Cyril and Methodius in 863, during the reign of Duke Rastislav and the territorial expansion under Duke Svato Pluk I. Great Moravia, 830 before 907 Great Moravia arose around 830 when Mojmira unified the Slavic tribes settled north of the Danube and extended the Moravian supremacy over them. When Mojmira endeavored to secede from the supremacy of the King of East Francia in 846, King Louis the German deposed him and assisted Mojmir's nephew Rastislav in acquiring the throne. The new monarch pursued an independent policy. After stopping a Frankish attack in 855, he also sought to weaken influence of Frankish priests preaching in his realm. Duke Rastislav asked the Byzantine Emperor Michael III to send teachers who would interpret Christianity in the Slavic vernacular. Upon Rastislav's request, Two brothers, Byzantine officials, and missionary saints Cyril and Methodius came in 863. Cyril developed the first Slavic alphabet and translated the gospel into the old church Slavonic language. Rastislav was also preoccupied with the security and administration of his state. Numerous fortified castles built throughout the country are dated to his reign and some of them are also mentioned in connection with Rastislav by Frankish chronicles. During Rastislav's reign, the Principality of Nitra was given to his nephew Svato Pluk as an appanage. The rebellious prince allied himself with the Franks and overthrew his uncle in 870. Similarly to his predecessor, Svato Pluk I assumed the title of the king. During his reign, the Great Moravian Empire reached its greatest territorial extent, when not only present-day Moravia and Slovakia, but also present-day northern and central Hungary, Lower Austria, Bohemia, Silesia, Lusatia, southern Poland and northern Serbia belong to the empire, but the exact borders of his domains are still disputed by modern authors. Svato Pluk also withstood attacks of the semi-nomadic Magyar tribes and the Bulgarian Empire, although sometimes it was he who hired the Magyars when waging war against East Francia. In 880, Pope John VIII set up an independent ecclesiastical province in Great Moravia, with Archbishop Methodius as its head. He also named the German cleric witching the Bishop of Nitra. After the death of Prince Svato Pluk in 894, his sons Mojmir II and Svato Pluk II succeeded him as the Prince of Great Moravia and the Prince of Nitra respectively. However, they started to quarrel for domination of the whole empire. Weakened by an internal conflict as well as by constant warfare with Eastern Francia, Great Moravia lost most of its peripheral territories. In the meantime, the semi-nomadic Magyar tribes, possibly having suffered defeat from the similarly nomadic Beccanegs, left their territories east of the Carpathian Mountains, invaded the Carpathian Basin and started to occupy the territory gradually around 896. Their army's advance may have been promoted by continuous wars among the countries of the region whose rulers still hired them occasionally to intervene in their struggles. It is not known what happened with both Mojmir II and Svato Pluk II, because they are not mentioned in written sources after 906. In three battles near Bratislava, the Magyars routed Bavarian armies. Some historians put this year as the date of the breakup of the Great Moravian Empire, due to the Hungarian conquest. Other historians take the date a little bit earlier. Great Moravia left behind a lasting legacy in Central and Eastern Europe. The Glagolitic script and its successor Cyrillic were disseminated to other Slavic countries, charting a new path in their socio-cultural development. The administrative system of Great Moravia may have influenced the development of the administration of the Kingdom of Hungary.
Kingdom of Hungary, 1 1918. Following the disintegration of the Great Moravian Empire at the turn of the 10th century, the Hungarians annexed the territory comprising modern Slovakia. After their defeat on the Lech River they abandoned their nomadic ways, they settled in the center of the Carpathian Valley, adopted Christianity and began to build a new state the Hungarian Kingdom. From the 11th century, when the territory inhabited by the Slavic-speaking population of Danubian Basin was incorporated into the Kingdom of Hungary, until 1918, when the Austro-Hungarian Empire collapsed. The territory of modern Slovakia was an integral part of the Hungarian state. The ethnic composition became more diverse with the arrival of the Carpathian Germans in the 13th century, and the Jews in the 14th century. A significant decline in the population resulted from the invasion of the Mongols in 1241 and the subsequent famine. However, in medieval times the area of the present-day Slovakia was characterized by German and Jewish immigration, burgeoning towns, construction of numerous stone castles, and the cultivation of the arts. In 1465, King Matthias Corvinus founded the Hungarian Kingdom's third university, in Prisberg, but it was closed in 1490 after his death. Hussites also settled in the region after the Hussite Wars. Owing to the Ottoman Empire's expansion into Hungarian territory, Bratislava was designated the new capital of Hungary in 1536, ahead of the old Hungarian capital of Buda falling in 1541. It became part of the Austrian Habsburg monarchy, marking the beginning of a new era. The territory comprising modern Slovakia, then known as Upper Hungary, became the place of settlement for nearly two-thirds of the Magyar nobility fleeing the Turks, and far more linguistically and culturally Hungarian than it was before, partly thanks to old Hussite families and Slovaks studying under Martin Luther, the region then experienced a growth in Protestants. For a short period in the 17th century, most Slovaks were Lutherans. They defied the Catholic Habsburgs and sought protection from neighboring Transylvania a rival continuation of the Magyar state that practiced religious tolerance and normally had Ottoman backing. Upper Hungary, modern Slovakia, became the site of frequent wars between Catholics in the West Territory and Protestants in the East, also against Turks. The frontier was on a constant state of military alert and heavily fortified by castles and citadels often manned by Catholic German and Slovak troops on the Habsburg side. In 1655, the printing press at the Trnava University produced the Jesuit Benedict Solosis Cantus Catholici, a Catholic hymnal in the Slovak language that reaffirmed links to the earlier works of Cyril and Methodius. The Ottoman Wars, rivalry between Austria and Transylvania, and the frequent insurrections against the Habsburg monarchy inflicted a great deal of devastation, especially in the rural areas. In the Austro-Turkish War a Turkish army led by the Grand Vizier decimated Slovakia. Even so, Slovaks from the Principality of Upper Hungary fought alongside the Turks against the Austrians at the Battle of Vienna of 1683. As the Turks withdrew from Hungary in the late 17th century, the importance of the territory comprising modern Slovakia decreased. Although Prisberg retained its status as the capital of Hungary until 1848, when it was transferred back to Buda during the Revolution of 1848-49, the Slovaks supported the Austrian Emperor hoping for independence from the Hungarian part of the dual monarchy, but they failed to achieve their aim. Thereafter relations between the nationalities deteriorated, culminating in the secession of Slovakia from Hungary after World War I. Czechoslovakia, 1918-1939 In 1918, Slovakia and the regions of Bohemia, Moravia, Czech Silesia and Carpathian Ruthenia formed a common state, Czechoslovakia, with the borders confirmed by the Treaty of St. Germain and Treaty of Trianon. In 1919, during the chaos following the breakup of Austria-Hungary, Czechoslovakia was formed with numerous Germans and Hungarians within the newly set borders. A Slovak patriot Milan Rastislav Stefanik, who helped organize Czechoslovak regiments against Austria-Hungary during the First World War, died in a plane crash. In the peace following the World War, Czechoslovakia emerged as a sovereign European state. 
it provided what were, at the time rather extensive rights to its minorities and remained the only democracy in this part of Europe in the interwar period. During the interwar period, democratic Czechoslovakia was allied with France, and also with Romania and Yugoslavia. However, the Locarno Treaties of 1925 left East European security open. Both Czechs and Slovaks enjoyed a period of relative prosperity. There was progress in not only the development of the country's economy, but also culture and educational opportunities. The minority Germans came to accept their role in the new country and relations with Austria were good. Yet the Great Depression caused a sharp economic downturn, followed by political disruption and insecurity in Europe. Thereafter Czechoslovakia came under continuous pressure from the revisionist governments of Germany and Hungary. Eventually this led to the Munich Agreement of September 1938, which allowed Nazi Germany to partially dismember the country by occupying what was called the Sudetenland, a region with a German-speaking majority and bordering Germany and Austria. The remainder of Rump Czechoslovakia was renamed Czechoslovakia and included a greater degree of Slovak political autonomy. Southern and Eastern Slovakia, however, was reclaimed by Hungary at the first Vienna Award of November 1938. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?